move on now to a fascinating story by Natasha Bitter on The Australian. Tougher rules for care staff training. Aged and disability care staff will be trained to give medication and report malnutrition and dehydration in elderly nursing homes in a long-awaited changes recommended by the Royal Commission into abuse and neglect. Gem, I can't believe that this already wasn't happening with staff. But again, I guess it, this leads to the fact that this is why this all happened, because the staff just didn't even have the right training in the first place. We're on a unity ticket there. I didn't understand that either. I, I can't believe this is not already happening. I guess the first thing that I think is how do we make sure that that training is standardised? How do we make sure that the right staff... It's hard enough to get people into those industries as it is, let alone having the right level of skill. And the fact that those basic um, observations aren't being looked after and taken. And look, my, my late grandmother was in care and we were fortunate enough as a family to visit regularly. But many, many residents of aged care homes are rarely visited. And, and who's looking for these things and the signs of dehydration and all of that sort of stuff. Like, it's a great move, but... For the love of God, it hasn't been happening. Yeah, absolutely. It's just tra tragic. So I think Annika Wells will definitely be keen to get her skates on with that, as we have seen.